Hello, FTN Transformers. This is Thursday with you guys, Lane and Tom, who's sleeping. Yeah, we had a quite interesting afternoon. My friend Ann came over, so he's kind of tired of right now. So this topic this week is locker rooms. So here we go. My experience with locker rooms. Basically, when I was in public school, I had to change in the girls one. It kind of sucked, but... When I got to high school, I did do gym my first high school I went to. But good thing about me that I was not allowed to do gym. I just got the credit anyways. All I was allowed to do is go to the workout room. Because my health issues, my hip problem. Because if I had in gym classes, and the gym class here is very physical and activity. I don't mind being active or anything, just my hip. But I did too much activities, then it will kind of give out and be sore for the rest of the day. Kind of sucks. But now it's getting now I'm older and everything and all adult. It actually is getting a bit better, thank God. But in high school, my second one I went to, I lived across the road from it. So if I don't, if my teacher told me to go change, all I have to do is go to my my house basically and get changed there, and then come back and do, go to the workout room. And for like swimming wise and workout rooms at school and all that, I just use the family bathrooms. I did, I do. Or use the mails, you know. No one really questioned me about it. No one really did at all. So that's good. Um, hmm, what else? If you want to pass in the locker room, especially using not a family bathroom, but actually a male's bathroom, just be yourself. Don't panic. Don't, like, like oh my god, is my butter sticking you know, or anything. Just be yourself. Keep calm. Keep cool. Make sure if you want, you can wear a packer to the bo- to the locker room. You can, or you can just be yourself and keep cool. Basically, that's all I can say, because that's all I do. Just keep cool and just have my binder on. And if I want to plan to working out, then I'll put on one of these muscle shirts I have on. Then my binder on top. Then not a muscle shirt, so it just looks like I have too much things underneath. No one asks really questions here. Um, well, just like I said, 